count the money. I got a bitch, she gon' kill for real. Talking about Clyde and Bunny. Do it with the kid, copy. Got to pull up with a stick, stop it. Hello, my beautiful babies. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kay. Thank you guys so much for being here. Um, today's reading is going to be how do potential suitors perceive you? Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed this reading, which I know that you will. Um, if you are interested in any like tarot cards or oracle cards, I do have an Amazon storefront. Um, also, if you'd like to have your name added to my manifestation candle, that information will be in the pinned comment in the comment section. And yeah, we're going to jump right on into your reading. Let's do it. Alright, so let's see what we got here, baby. So we have number 40, Darkness. So I feel like potential shoot, um, suitors see you as, they perceive you as a person that, um, honestly, you are someone that could be, why am I hearing like a days ago? Maybe I just like that word. But I feel like they could be seeing you as someone that is coming out of a dark place or you have been, um, I about to say lonely. Some of you could have been lonely for a while or you have been single for a while. Um, I'm seeing this little rabbit. Every time I see a rabbit child, I, <laughs> I think about like, um, like uh, you know, it's cute, cuddly. Also, they, they have tons of kids, um, babies, rabbits, bunnies. Um, also, they move kind of fast. So I feel like sometimes potential suitors see you as somebody that maybe you move too fast or because you've been by yourself for a long time, you could be a little bit clingy, you get attached kind of quickly. It doesn't have to be like that. It doesn't have to be any of those things because, you know, you you could be a person that you could be at an age like you don't got time to play. You don't have time for the bullshit. You know what I mean? So you like to show people who you are. You know what I mean? So we're going to say that for now. We're going to see what else we have. So we have the Four of Swords, we have the King of Wands, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Um, we have the Chariot card, the Six of Cups, the Knight of Swords, the Hanged Woman, the Hanged Man. Um, we have the Heart Power Fine, and we also have the Two of Wands here. So let's get into it. I feel like potential suitors see you as somebody with the full of swords being here. Like I said, you've probably been single for a while. You've probably been to yourself for a while. You probably give, gave things a rest. You could be an, indi an individual that like to meditate, like to pray. Um, I feel like they um, perceive you as a person that, you know, you you know, you take time for yourself. You rest, you sleep, you know, you you just be chilling, you know, you just be to yourself, honestly. The King of Wands being here, you could be someone that is very like you may have a lot of things on your play or you are someone that's very passionate you are someone that's very career driven um when it comes to your um like your passions your creativity and things like that you're very um you're very serious about that you know that's like you're very that's your strong suit you get me i feel like you could be a person that likes um structure in a certain type of way you like things to be a specific type of way um you could be someone that is i, I it's not you just like things to go your way, plain and simple. Ten of Pentacles being here, I feel like you could be a very goal or family oriented person. The Ten of Pentacles is um, about stability, is about being grounded. You know, I really feel like it's like generational wealth. I, I, that's like my favorite thing to say, generational wealth. Um, you could be very well known. You could have a big family. Um, you could come from a family that has generational wealth. If it's not now, maybe in the past, maybe your family was very rich or very well known in some way, shape, or form. Take that as it resonates. I feel like. Um, Potential suitors perceive you as someone that that's what you want. You know what I mean? You want generational wealth. You want a big family. Um, you want to be stable financially, mentally, all those things grounded. Very much so, you know? Um, with the chariot card being here, you could be someone that moves fast. It's, it's kind of the same thing I was saying about this picture. You could be some like, you like things to move a specific type of way. You like to move forward. If this is what we're doing, this is what we're doing, you know? Um, if we're going to be together, we're going to be together. Some of you could be even quick on, like, all right, let's have babies, let's have kids. That's It's not your intention to sit there and be, like, you know, driving people crazy or anything like that. It's just that you know what you want. So when you get somebody and you feel what you feel, you know, you get butterflies or, you know, you just feel like it's right, you'll say something, you speak up on it, and boom. The six of um <clears throat> the six of cups being here, I do feel like sometimes you may keep um or you hold baggage from a past relationship or stuff like that. Maybe you haven't moved on from it, or um you may even remind this person of home. You may remind this per you remind um they perceive you as somebody that is maybe stuck in the past, or you know you could be someone that is very traditional when it comes to like family. 
or when it comes to love in general you're very traditional so you want you know um like i said you want the big family you want the you know the husband and wife or wife wife husband husband depending on you know what you got going on um you just i feel like you may have been raised in a two-parent household you know what i'm saying like even if it's not both of your parents it could have been you and your parent and a step parent or something like that but you come from a two-parent household if it's not that you have a lot of marriage in your family or you have long-term relationships in your family um with the knight of swords being here you can be someone that's very spontaneous and you speak on um you say you mean what you say and you say what you mean you know you're that type of person like i really don't feel like you should code anything um and and I feel like you will also be someone that's very defensive when people say certain things. It's like I said, it's not on purpose. I feel like some certain stuff is kind of like coping mechanism, defense mechanisms because of things that happened to you in your past and like old relationships and stuff like that. Um, with the hanged woman or hanged man being here, um, I feel like potential suitors perceive you as somebody that is, you know, I feel like you're learning. You're trying to, you or you, hmm, you try to change this person's mind or the outlook on what a relationship could be or what it should be in your opinion, you know. Um, I don't, think i really don't feel like you do it in a malicious type of way like i don't think your intention is to be um like clinky your intention is not to be annoying your intention is to simply be like this is what i want and, you know sometimes I mean, even when you're just talking some people that are not ready for it they get scared or they get um they get deterred or they be like oh you're doing too much it's not even that it's just that you know sometimes people are not ready for what you're ready for but the harm fog being here you are a very stable person this is what i mean i feel like you come from a family that is um very family orientated sorry y'all very family orientated you know what i mean like i feel like like i said you have a two-parent household or you know some of you may have like a really strong single parent or whatever the case is so it's like certain things you already know what you want and what you don't want like you don't want to play games you don't want to do any of those things two of wands being here i feel like you um potential suitors um potential suitors perceive you as a person that um I really feel like you try to help people go down a different type of path, open their mind to different type of things, you know? Like, if somebody is set in their ways or they like a, one a specific way of thinking, like, you try to open their eyes and expand their horizon. Like, if, let's say, um, like I said, you came, like, if this is what it is, you came from a two-parent household um, and they came from a single-parent household, like, you try to help them see, like, this is in very is something very important to you. But if somebody wasn't raised the same way that you were raised or they don't have the same type of outlook as you, they may deter from it they may be scared of it and they may they may push you away because they may feel like it's too much they may feel like you're clingy something like that so let's keep going let's keep going we have reconciliation again with the six of cups here um we have beauty and we have light in your load first of all people definitely do see even with the king of wands being here they see your attractiveness they see how good you look you are a very attractive person um in the face or you, your energy and your aura may be very beautiful as well that's another reason why people are naturally very attracted to you because you know you know how to speak you know how to talk you have you dress nicely you take care of yourself you look good okay um i'm also feeling like with this reconciliation being here um it's like uh, I feel like maybe potential suitors um perceive you as a person that like you know your exes won't let you go um reconciliation could also mean like i'm, I'm thinking about reconciliation i'm thinking about the hangman the six of cups like I, I don't know maybe some shadow work needs to be done there's certain things that you probably need to heal from in your past you know so, like childhood traumas and stuff like that it doesn't have to be that but that's kind of that's what i'm picking up on um Potential um, suitors perceive you as somebody that they probably would not be able to let you go. That's another thing, too. And not even, like, that sounds crazy. Not in a creepy way. But in a way where, like, even if you guys was to break up, they would want to come, keep coming back to um, to you. Because when you're very beautiful, you're very attractive inside and out. It's not just on the physical appearance. The, this a mental appearance as well. Um, and lighten your load. I really do feel like, um, like I said, there's some things that you probably haven't healed from. Like, from past or previous relationships or connections. Situationships. Take it as a resonance and i feel like you carry that with you sometimes in your next situation or and you, you sit there and be like oh i've been through this i've been through that and it's just like you've been through it like if you've been through it like get over it you know what i mean and, and i don't mean to sound harsh like that some people um tend to like if you've been in a relationship or something like that and it was like a really tough bad relationship you tend to take that energy some, some people some people take that energy and they apply it to their next relationship like oh this person did this to me and this that and the third i really i'm, I'm a 
now as I'm older I'm a firm believer that nobody needs to know your past your past is your past and that's where it needs to stay at in the back you know what I mean so I feel like um, potential um suitors uh, perceive you as somebody that needs to let things go that happen to you and you know allow a new situation to come in and you know explore that <laughs> um we have number 15 meshes in a bottle we also have number 35 will you heart and we have um number two yin which is um like feminine energy so i really feel like with the meshes in a bottle this door is killing me i hope y'all can't hear it but with this number 15 meshes in a bottle i really feel like you bottle your feelings and emotion i feel like you are a person that um it's, it's like how can i explain it a message in a bottle is like if you ever seen any movie where somebody's lost that scene they have messages literally in a bottle and it comes to shore and you open and you see and like you discovering something new i really feel like um you can be very mysterious as well i feel like you are an open person but there's still things in your past i really feel like you haven't let go of you know what i'm saying like you haven't let go of you haven't um uh like expressed it you just hold on to it and you sometimes you tend to take it into your next relationship it doesn't have to be that but that's kind of what i'm getting um potential suitors perceive you as a person that you are real like you know you are someone that has a loyal you heart you're not a person that's going to be out here talking to a million one people you know you are very um you're loyal <laughs> Plain and simple, you're very, uh, very much of a loyal person. You're real, you're authentic. Um, you could be very feminine as well. So you could be um, very nurturing, very caring. You are like, you balance this person out. I'm, I'm feeling here as well. Especially if this person is masculine, like very masculine. Um, but yeah. So you can be someone that's very emotional as well. Very soft to the touch. Very easy to talk to, you know. So let's see what else we have. We have number four, open up. We have number eight, moving on. Some of you could have also been married before, maybe divorced or like I said, been in a long-term relationship or something like that. We also have here number four, joy and stability. Like you see the picture, the way that the picture, the, the yellow, it looks like, like energy, aura, light. You know what I mean? Like I feel like you are a light in a lot of people's lives. Um, I feel like that's how potential um, suitors perceive you anyway. Like, I really feel like your beauty, like, your physical beauty, beauty is outstanding, but your energy is, like, unmatched. Um, I feel like with this number four, open up. I feel like they, um, they perceive you as a person that you want to talk about certain things, but you don't. And if you do bring it up, it's like, I'm not, it's not argumentative, but, you know, if somebody does something that somebody uh, well, like an old ex or an old person did it's like you kind of bring it up in a in a malicious way kind of sort of i hope y'all getting what i'm saying let me get moving on i feel like you still are trying to detach from old or past connection or, or old past but you know what i'm saying um and I, I feel like that's not a bad thing because that that shows you that you are a loyal person because you haven't let a person go um even though you may not be with that individual, you're still thinking about them. You still um, you still have them in your energy in some way, shape, or form. And I, I really do feel like other suitors may feel like that. They may feel that energy. You get what I mean? I hope that makes sense. All right. So we have engagement. We have pay attention to um, the red flags. And we also have unrequited love. Yeah. That makes sense. I feel like potential suitors perceive you as a person like with this engagement being here like you're like i said with the um yin you're very easy to talk to it's nice to speak to you it's nice to engage in conversation with you um so many some people may automatically seem like okay i can see a future with this individual you know engagement is literally like maybe putting a ring on it or something like that tying it down but i really feel like this person may see red flags because you bring up things from your past but when you're angry, you know, you bring up things um, that happen to you that you haven't let go of. And that's a red flag, you know what I mean? Because that means that you're still stuck on a past relationship. You're still stuck on a past situation. Some of you could have been married to somebody. That's another way. Married or a long-term relationship. Unrequited love. Okay? It says, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So, I feel like they perceive you as a person that, yes... This is something that could go far, but there's like a lot of red flags. There's a lot of signs that, okay, 
you know maybe pile number one is not over their ex maybe pile number one still has things they have to work through maybe pile number one has some trauma they have to go through so that's how they may feel like it's unrequited love unrequited love is not a bad thing you know you could always um not be attracted to somebody and then spend a lot of time with them and wind up being attracted to them because you know it's more than appearance when it comes to a relationship okay but let's see what else we have with the last couple of cards we have number six mature woman we have number 36, Distant Horizon, and we also have number 28, Expectations. Yeah, you are a person that has very high expectations of anyone that you're dating. You know, you want you want to be treated a certain way. You want to, you, you expect a lot of things, and I, I feel like maybe you expect it too soon. Take that as it resonates. Every, of course, it's going to be di different for everybody. Sometimes you can be a little bit distant, a little bit cold with this number 36, Distant Horizon. I don't know why when I see the... Um, mature woman i always think about the queen of swords and the queen of swords is about you know being independent you know um thriving in your um your solitude and keeping yourself on a very high pedestal you know so i just feel like that's what potential suitors um they see that because I, I, with this mature woman mature man you are a very mature person you could be older doesn't have to be um, take it as it resonates. A mature also could be like well polished. You know, you've been through things. You had certain things happen to you in your life, and it helped you. It helped you be who you are today. Um, but let's see what else we have here. We have actually angels seek the seek the divine. Your angels want to support you. We also have here resolving issues, solving inner conflict with others, healing past trauma, and we also have embrace find peace with your current state of being. So I just feel like. Potential suitors perceive you as a person that you still need some inner healing. You need some inner work that needs to be done, you know, some shadow work that needs to be done. Um, this is something that definitely can be worked through so you can embrace and you can um, accept um, new lovers or accept love in general, stuff like that. But I hope it wasn't too all over the place and I hope that you understood what I was trying to say. Pile number one, that's all I really have. I hope that it resonated. I will definitely catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hello and beautiful pal number two. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. I'm Kay Reese. Thank you guys so much for being here. Today's reading is going to be how do potential suitors perceive you. I hope that you enjoyed this reading, which I know that you will. Before we jump into it, please be sure to check out the pinned comment where I do have information on my Amazon storefront where I have Oracle and Tarot cards. And if you are interested in having your name added to my manifestation candle, that information will be there as well. So we're going to jump right on into it. All right, let's see what we have here. So we have number three, realization. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I feel like potential suitors perceive you as somebody that you open their eyes to me. Like maybe you open up their heart chakra. I'm also I'm also hearing throat chakra. Like I feel like you are someone that kind of goes for the underdog. It's not on purpose. It's like it's not. I don't think that's a bad thing. I feel like you are a person that you can see right through certain individuals. Like you can see, you kind of work through. You see people's potential, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you see how far a person can go. You see the greatness in the individual. And I feel like that's how potential suitors perceive you as someone that you see value in the in, in a specific person, you know what I mean? You don't pick people just because. You pick people because you can see who they who they could be. And that that's not a great thing all the time, but I feel like you also help people with their self-esteem as well. But let's see what else we have here. We have the Two of Swords. We have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Moon card here. We have the Ten of Wands, the Ace of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Swords, the Three of Wands, and we also have the Lovers card here. Okay. Um, two of Swords, Two of Swords. You can be someone And then, um, but the two of swords being here, I really do feel like they perceive you as someone that is conflicted sometimes, you know what I mean? Like, it's not hard for you to make decisions because the two of swords is about being confused, you know, a, a gamble, like you might get lucky, you might not get lucky, like you're taking a chance on something. Bas basically, like, like I was saying, right? Um, I feel like they perceive you as somebody that is very cautious when you do things, but you know, you're still willing to take a risk. You're still willing to, willing to take a chance because you can see that the person has value. They have potential to be great. You know, they have potential to be like 
um, those classic Yeezys or to be like that top-notch rapper or, you know, the best singer. With the Seven of Pentacles being here, I feel like they perceive you as someone that's going to invest in their person. Like, you build a person up. Um, and like I said, it's, it's not a bad thing, but sometimes people tend to walk on you or walk or try to walk all over you or use you as a mat in some way, shape or form because you see that potential in them and nobody else sees it and you are boosting this person's ego. You know what I mean? I hope you understand what I'm trying to say, babe. But yeah, that's how um, they perceive you as someone that's going to invest, that's going to take time. You're going to build this person up, build their self-esteem up, maybe even um, build up their finances. Like, you know, really put that battery in their back, give them words of encouragement, empowerment, and all that good stuff. With the moon card being here, again, with seeing the potential or seeing a transition, a change in a person. Like, you can see what they could be. You know what I mean? You see what they could be and you help them. You help suitors like become that or you know get close to that in some way shape or form this is heavy it feels heavy but i feel like you you could be a capricorn towards or virgo it doesn't have to be or um something like that um because i feel like you are a person that's very well with your own self you know you are stable you have your shit together um you are uh it doesn't have to be but you know you could be a, a person that breaks from home um you make money in your sleep in some way but the ten of wands being here i feel like they perceive you as someone that you are on the verge of getting out of the sluggish and the hard turmoils and stuff like that with the ten of wands because the ten of wands is about like carrying burdens um skeletons in a closet holding things in and stuff like that but you carry it very well and you know you can carry your own bullshit and still give somebody you could be an empath. We don't have those cards here, but I'm, I'm giving like an empath life worker. You know, those are the people that get interest in people in their lives. <laughs> they get interest in people in their lives because you can see what they can become or could become if they allow themselves to. That's why we have the Ace of Swords in the middle because, you know, you are very knowledgeable. You're very smart. Um, you have, you, you, that's another card about realization as well. Opening the eyes to a more wider like a broader i don't even know how to explain like just more in general you know what i mean i feel like you could be someone that's very well traveled you've been to five-star restaurants three-star like you you you've been around the block you've done things you know you're not one of those people that hasn't done anything like it hasn't been anywhere like you only like let's say you live in new york city like it's like you've been out of new york city you've been to freaking you know you, you are very well <laughs> very well polished ten of soys being here I feel like they um, perceive you as a person that if they was going through a tough time or a tough time or a hardship or they've been with people that backstabbed them, talked down on them or, you know, did malicious shit to them, you are the person that's giving them, like, hope for romance, giving them hope for, um, you know, true, genuine love, you know? This is a divine, protected love. I feel like you are, like, an earth angel as well. I'm getting here, too. Um, the Three of Wands being here. I feel like they perceive you as a person like I just I feel like you just you see more you know what I mean like you see more like you see over the fence you see through the gate you see through the um facade you see through all the bullshit you know so if this person has you waiting um well that that doesn't sound good but if this person has you like if they take a long time or if they like you know why they doing it you know you, you know what i mean i'm not saying here saying that you're gonna wait for them or anything like that but i really feel like if somebody was to make you like have pay, like basically be patient with them i feel like that's they perceive you as someone that's going to be patient with them because you know who is your person you know who is like your twin flame not your twin flame but you know who's a soulmate for you like you have that connection you have that type of energy or that type of intuition discernment that you can tell who's a soulmate for you and they perceive you as that type like they know that this is like a serious connection this is something that's going to bring them some type of lesson some type of education knowledge something like that let's get some more information we have protection beautiful we have family and we also have closure here. So I feel like, you know, like their rejection is God's protection. I feel like that's something that you know. You know, I feel like you, with the protection being here, you are very protective in general. But this is what I mean. Like, you could be a light worker, an empath, um, a, like, 
you in, you could be into that stuff or you just like you're just that special when it comes to these things i feel like you're a very family oriented person or this is deeply rooted in your family as well um they perceive you as someone that is like i think they perceive you as someone that they could have a family with start something really brand new they want to protect you too like they want to be protective of you as well with the closure being here i feel like you may and it's it's it sucks, but you may um, attract people that have addiction. You may attract people that was in like a, like I said, a toxic relationship. You, but you help them with that. You help them work through these things. Like you help them get the closure that they probably were looking for an apology or something like that. And you just be like, nah, it's cool. Like you know, don't worry about it. You know, let's like let's keep moving forward. Let's do other things. Like you don't have to be in this space. You don't have to be like you know what I'm saying. I hope that makes sense. We have um, number 43, Deep Knowing. We have um, number 39, New Life. And we also have number 27, Exchanging Gifts. So you may also attract people that have the same type of ability that you have, but you know they may not understand it. They may not get why they feel like how they feel about you. Um, they perceive you as someone that's very smart. Um, we don't have the Empress here, but with the Deep Knowing is given Empress. Um, but I, I really feel like... 39 new life. It's just, it's just like a, a brand new experience altogether. That's how um, potential um, suitors perceive you as someone like this is like something that can be very special. You know, you are someone that with this um, exchanging gifts, this could li literally be a material gift or simply like a gift of respect, a gift of knowledge, a gift of knowing, um, intuition. Like you get what I'm saying? Like you open kind of new doors for them i think that's why we also have the realization because i feel like you help them close doors from their past and things like that um i feel like they perceive you as somebody like it's a fresh start new life fresh start new beginning a new life literally it's plain and simple a new life let's get some more information this is actually a this is a pretty deep reading okay we have number seven move we also have number one manifest and we also have number three reach out okay so number seven would be equivalent to um chariot and the number one manifest will be equivalent to the magician um you could be a, a like i already said it right a light worker you could do candle work and stuff like that you could be very good at praying manifesting things like that i feel like you um they perceive you as someone that's going to help them move on help them move forward help them work through these traumas and things like that i feel like you are someone that makes nothing out of you make yeah, you make nothing out of something. You make something out of nothing. Boom, that's what I meant. <laughs> Sorry. You make something out of nothing. You know what I mean? Like, you are a person that can, um, your, your words hold, hold a lot of power. You hold a lot of power. Does number three reach, reach out? It's like, because you can pull your energy away, because you can, um, like, energetically cut ties with a person, if, a person has you waiting or if a person has you feeling like okay you got to be patient and you energetically pull your energy they would have to reach out they would want to talk to you they would want to see what you're doing how you're doing who you're doing it with um because they put you on a, a, a high pedestal um it's not bad to be put on a high pedestal but if they value you more than they value your themselves that's unhealthy um so maybe there could be some codependency here as well that's how they may perceive you, that they have like some type of codependency, like a really strong attachment to you. Let's see what else we got going on here. We have healing family issues. We have stay optimistic about your love life. And we also have free yourself, okay? So basically, like I was already saying, they perceive you as somebody that I feel like is going to help them heal in general, protect them from the bullshit because you're going you're gonna to tell it like it is. You're going to tell them the real tea, the real truth. Um, I also feel like because you're not that, you're probably not that much of an uh, attached per uh, the, you're not that much of an attached person because you have your own shit that you got going on with the ten of wands here. You know, you got your own thing that you got going on, and you could be very mysterious. You keep things to yourself. Like you would have this person feel like they have to be, um, they have to think positive. You know, they probably have to prey on this relationship. They have to manifest for this relationship to work, manifest that they have the healing, they have the um, the right ability to make this relationship work. Um, that's how they perceive you. Like they wanna, they wanna keep you. You know what I mean? Free yourself says it's time to take back control of your life. 
I, I just I'm, I'm getting like this would be I feel like they perceive you as someone like it's like a very human deep spiritual kind of connection okay so we have abundance we have acceptance and we also have stress here you got like I said you have your own shit that you got going on that you're trying to work on so it's like you don't put all your eggs in one basket and you don't sit there and um you don't sit there and um spring it all on your person you know you try to you try to deal with your own shit um with the abundance being here i really do feel like you may have like i said you could be very well off um very well off or very well traveled um like you don't need anybody for anything that's a blessing um they perceive you as a person that you're going to accept them for whatever they have going on, but you're still going to take care of yourself. You know what I mean? You're going to accept all the bullshit that they may have coming along with them because you already know how that is because you have your own shit that you um, got and you bringing along with you as well. So you accept things for what they are, whether you want to work with this person or not work with this person. That's how they perceive you. Like it's either you're going to be here, you're not going to be here. You got your own shit to go through. Okay, you got your own shit to go, go through. You know, we only got one life to live. You don't like to waste time and you don't want nobody, um, you don't, you don't want to waste nobody's time. You definitely don't want nobody wasting your time. We have number 25, high honor. We have number 30, adjudication. And we also have number 33, concern. Yeah. That makes sense. You guys could be in your late 20s, early 30s. Take it as a resonance. It doesn't have to be, but that's what it's given. That's what I'm feeling. I feel like that's when we mostly find ourselves anyway in our like late 20s, like 25 and up. Um, 25 to 35, that's like we really finding ourselves and um, seeing our true calling and things like that. So I feel like you understand. You could have been a person that, you know, you did this from a young age. But I feel like they perceive you as someone that's very high valued. With this number 25 high honor. You know, very high valued. Like I said, very protective of you. Um, number 30, adjudication. Reminds me of like justice, like karma justice. Um, like you were, you were meant to be in this person's life. Um, they always think about you too, this number 33 concern. They perceive you as someone that is like you are a very considerate person you're probably concerned about how they got how uh, how their life is and how they day is going and stuff like that but like let's say that you text them and they don't answer you like okay whatever you know what i'm saying like at least you sent out a message saying like hey i'm you okay you good like hey you're right <laughs> but that's how potential suitors perceive you so my beautiful pal number two is only really happy i hope that it resonated and i hope that you enjoyed this reading if you did, let me know in the comment section. I will definitely catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Hello, my beautiful pal number threes. Thank you. <laughs> welcome and welcome back to my channel. I'm Kay Reese. Thank you. One more time. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. I'm Kay Reese. Thank you guys so much for being here. Today's reading is going to be how do potential suitors perceive you? So we're going to jump right on into this reading first. Please be sure to check out the pinned comment in the comment section. I do have information on my Amazon storefront where you can find Oracle and Tarot cards there tarot cards there as well um also if you are interested in having your name added to my manifestation can that information is there too so yeah let's get into this reading okay they perceive you as somebody that's real what they what you see is what you get basically when it comes to you with this purity being here um some of you could be the age of 30 um take that as it resonates You're very humble. I feel like you're a very humble individual. You're very free-spirited as well. Some of you could be born in, um, like, the cold. Like, winter is, like, your favorite season. Um, Christmas could be your favorite holiday. Um, you probably enjoy the bliss of being outside, like, when it's cold and stuff like that. It doesn't have to be. Um, but take it as it resonates. You could love the snow. Some of you probably never even experienced the snow, depending on where you are at or where you are from. So I could I, I want to say that some of you could be a little bit naive. Um, but yeah, let's see what we have with the tarot cards, okay? We have the tarot card. We have the page of pentacles. We have the six of cups. We have the six of pentacles. We have the magician card. We have the three of cups, the five of wands, the six of swords, and we have the ten of wands. I think the ten of wands came out of every pile. I'm not even sure. Some of you could have also been inclined to watch pound number one. Please do. Um, you may find some messages there. Some of you may have watched all three pals. And if you did, you feel me? Thank you. <laughs> so we're going to jump right on into it. With um, I feel like they perceive you as something that's very unexpected. With the tower card being here, because you are so such a pure, um, honest, humble soul, 
um i feel like it's very unexpected because i feel like in this day and age i feel like a lot of people have experienced so many different things i feel and um you know people are very much out there especially because of social media and stuff like that but i feel like there's something about you where it's just like it's very uh, I'm, I'm feeling a, a sense of innocence okay even with the six of cups is giving like a sense of innocence a sense of um you know innocence <laughs> but yeah i feel like um they perceive you as a person with the page of pentacles being here you're very studious i feel like um you like to absorb information um you like to learn things that you haven't learned before understand things you don't you never it, it, it's just given a sense of you are probably someone that hasn't been in a lot of relationships or you haven't been maybe in a uh, in a successful relationship take that as it resonates um but the six of pentacles being here you're definitely a person they perceive you as someone that's gonna give as much as the, they give um i also feel like I, when i see this this six of pentacles i don't know why it's like a sense of like i want to spend on you i want to splurge on you i want to give you money because you see the person dropping you know the pentacles in this person's hands so it's like drop, dropping gems um dropping knowledge maybe even this person could be very knowledgeable when it comes to like finances money stability things like that maybe helping you with your taxes helping you um finance things and things like that um with the magician card being here i feel like they also perceive you as someone that like you know you you, you can get it all done if you wanted to you are very into part like self-care you are someone that probably likes to walk outside barefoot um you could also be a person that likes to um you know you probably like to meditate and stuff like that you like to meditate maybe you speak um good things into you like blessings and stuff like that you probably look at yourself in the mirror probably say like really nice stuff about yourself i'm seeing i don't know why i'm seeing somebody in the mirror brushing their hair in a ponytail so some you could wear your hair in a ponytail you like your hair up you're like your hair on your skin or on your back or something like that um I feel like they perceive you as somebody with the three of cups being here you could be someone that likes to go out you like to have fun you like to be with your friends you know you may have other friends that um you have like maybe long-term friendships you know like maybe five like a year a year or more let's say that because i was about to say five ten years some of you may have that too um you may ask your friends for advice as well they perceive you as someone that you like to take things slow you like to you know go through all the stages of a relationship before you be like all right you want you're ready to commit i feel here uh you may also like i said you could be a little bit naive sometimes because you ask your friends and child you probably ask your single friends for advice and your single friends have been single for a really long time i, I, I don't think that because I'm, I'm the friend that's been single for a while and i tell people all the time like if you don't ask me for no advice because i'm gonna tell you to be by your damn self do what you gotta do for your damn self <laughs> So I feel like they perceive you as a person that may have other friends that have been single for a while or um, you lean on your friends for advice or you lean on your friends to, you know, uplift your spirits and things like that. Um, with the Five of Wands being here, Five of Wands can be a little bit um, conflicted. It can be a little bit about chaos. It can be a little bit about you being in your head a lot. And I feel like um, they perceive you as that type of person that's in your head. You know, you question things. You question yourself you question them like you know you want to be sure about stuff you you want to make sure that you're making the right decision um but i really do feel like you because it's like a third party i keep hearing third party like you know you like to go outside and ask other people around you that may have been in long-term relationships or you know like i said your friends you, you know what i mean six of swords being here i feel like you could be um they perceive you as someone that maybe you like to travel or you are uh they may feel like you are at a distance or maybe you live a distance or this could be like a long distance kind of relationship or connection or something like that or you're just a distant person in general i'm seeing because this this one has a bag this one has well a suitcase this has a suitcase i feel like you probably are willing to travel i'm, I'm getting travel i don't know like you're open you're open to that type of relationship as well like a long distance relationship as long as you're getting treated right and you feel good whatever you like to escape from things you know what i mean um they may perceive you as someone that has like a lot of you know you got a lot of shit that you have going on that you you have like a little bit of baggage with you it's not i'm not feeling too much bad stuff for real 
I feel like you could be um, a, a bit impressionable. They may perceive you as someone that could be a bit, impre in, um, I can't say the word again, a bit impressionable. Let's get some more information. We have finding, we have boundaries. I feel like you're still finding yourself with this um, justice being here. You're still finding yourself. You know, you're still finding what you like, who you like, what you like. You know what I mean? Like, you probably don't even know exactly what you want from out of, of, out of a relationship. I feel like that's how um, um, suitors perceive you. Um, you have you have firm boundaries. Um, you see the crossing of the legs. You like you have firm boundaries because you like to be one with yourself. That's why I think the magician is in the middle. You like to make sure that you're good. You like to make sure that everything around you is good. You you like things to make sense. You like things to be cohesive. Um, with this justice being here, like you're real. You like to be balanced. You know, you could have um, Libra energy. It doesn't have to be. Um, but think about a Libra scale. You know, when things um, get too much or is weighing you down, it's you getting back. Um, you become imbalanced. You know. Um, that's how they may perceive you like you don't know how to, i feel like you may not know how to handle certain things that's why you have firm boundaries you know what i mean like you still could be, some of you could be in the healing process as well from something so you still you finding how to love yourself more how to put yourself first finding out what you like what you don't like you know that's why i feel like you you have, you have every firm boundaries you, you like to set boundaries especially when you are talking to somebody meeting someone and you have like a really nice heart. You could be a, a bit sensitive as well. For some of you, it doesn't have to be. Take what resonates. Again, with this type of damn thing, we have number thirty six coming to the um come come to the edge. We also have number one Yang, and we also have number nine Treasure Island. Interesting. Very 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 interesting. So with this number thirty six. And the way that she's dancing on here, the same way like how this lady is like feeling free dancing here as well. I feel you you very much of a free spirit, free spirit. I said fear, free spirit. Some of you could be um, bisexual, doesn't have to be, or you could be bi curious. You know, like I said, finding yourself, exploring your options. Um, that's how um, potential suitors, potential suitors may perceive you as someone that is, um, you know, like I said, trying to figure out what you like, what you don't like. We have number one Yang. You could be a bit masculine. You know, you could be a bit masculine or you know what you want from your masculine, you know, because you could be a person that is um, more on a feminine side viewer. You could be more on the feminine side and you know how you want your potential other half to be, you know, you want someone that's going to take charge. You want somebody that's going to do this. You want somebody that's going to do that. I feel like you know that you are the prize as well with this number nine treasure island. You know that you are the prize. Plain and simple. I feel like that's how they perceive you with this treasure island. Like it's a treasure, it's a treat to be with you. Um, it's like um, they have to do like this about gestures for you. It's definitely about gestures. You like people that want to, you you like someone that's going to probably spend money or they're going to bring you some type of knowledge. They have to bring, they have to benefit you in some way, shape or form because like I feel like you want this healing journey and learning about yourself. And it's like, if you're not adding any value to me, it's like, what are you here for? Let's see what else we have. We have number six again with this damn boat. We have believe and succeed. We also have number one, love of bonds, of binds. I don't know how to pronounce that. We also have number 21, embrace, which would be, which would be equivalent to the world card. So you could be a fixed sign. That would be a Scorpio, Taurus, uh, Taurus. What the hell is it? Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius. Take that as it resonates. It doesn't have to be but um things come in full circle for you you know you living in your own world you living in your own space ending of cycles for sure you know you don't want to repeat the same cycles you don't want to repeat and be in same um same situations because you worked really hard to get to where you are at right now um i feel like they perceive you as someone like you have to with the believe in succeed you have to believe in that relationship you have to believe that a person is really trying to be there for you they're going to go the distance for you you know, I really do feel like um, your heart chakra is open. It could be closed, but I'm feeling like it's more open more than anything. And you want to make sure that somebody's going to treasure your heart, treat your heart like like it's gold, you know, because you have a heart of gold and you are pure. You are a pure individual. You know what I mean? I hope that makes sense. We have number 38, toll and labor. We also have number 39, community. And we also have number four, courtship. So... 
I feel like you're willing, you're willing to work as long as the person is doing the same thing and they in the same type of you guys are on the same page. That's how I feel with the 39 community. I want you to stay with me. Stay with me. Thank you. Hey. Boom. All right. So I feel like they perceive you as someone that is you're willing to put in that work, but only if the person is doing the same thing. Like you're not gonna overexert yourself, and this person is not over it overexerting them, themselves. Like like I said with the community, that's being in the same space. Um, you know, maybe having the same type of friends or maybe you can meet a person in your friend group or something like that But I think they just simply perceive you as someone that like you want somebody that's on the same page as you um, Go in the same direction as you on the same path as you in some way shape or form You know what I mean? Like you guys are not clashing or anything like that because I feel like with this number four courtship You want marriage you want somebody to court you you want someone to you know Take you on dates you want someone that's gonna show appreciation for um spending time with you or you fitting them into your schedule or fitting fitting them into your life okay we also have here true love we have wedding <laughs> and we also have here soulmate yeah i feel like they perceive you as somebody who wants something real like look at the cards that we have out true love wedding soulmate like you want something real you don't you want something authentic you don't want any you don't want to waste any more of your time you know what i mean and you don't want to waste anybody else's time you want somebody that's going to value you some of you could have recently just got out of a relationship it doesn't have to be or some of you could have just moved into another state city or something like that maybe like i was saying with the card maybe you went somewhere that never had snow and now you have snow all the time or it's always cold or something like that take it as it resonates let's see what else we have here we have pay attention we have denial and we also have manifestation so i feel like you want people to like you don't want to keep telling people like oh i like this or oh, i like that like you want to go outside and you know you guys go on your first date whatever the case is and you say you like this that, and third you want somebody to like connect the dots like you want someone to put in the effort put in the time you know pay attention to you you know so you don't have to keep saying like oh i like this i want that i want this that, and third you want somebody to be able to go inside the store and order your food for you without you having to tell them like hey i want this i want that and i feel like that's how potential suitors um, perceive you that's what i'm saying some of you should watch pound number one it's kind of similar to pound number one um we have denial and listen to this it says failure to accept the situation unhealthy cycles or addition or addictions or yeah addictions so like I said with the um, embrace coming full circle from certain, certain things, you could have came out of a really toxic relationship, unhealthy situation or whatever the case is and you are not trying to um, repeat those cycles. You don't want to be in that same type of situation and it's like the first red flag that you see, you're out of there. You know, I feel like you are manifesting the perfect person. You are manifesting the perfect person for you at least, you know, because nobody's perfect but you want somebody that's going to be perfect for you and you have been working really hard to get to where you are at to have these um, boundaries that you have set for yourself. You want someone that's going to give you equal take. You don't want to have to deal with anybody that reminds you of an ex or reminds you of a past situation. It's like first red flag that you see if it's turning that white flag is turning a little bit pink you like you know you want to bring it up to their attention like hey i don't appreciate this i don't like that i don't like this i feel like um they perceive you as someone that they have to put in that work you know they have to put in that work so pal number three that's all i really have for you i hope that it resonated i hope that you enjoyed this reading if you did let me know in the comment section i'll definitely catch you guys in the next one peace out